Councilman Lewis says he's not overly concerned because he says the city secretary would have caught it if there had been a problem. A Grove's apartment complex is expected to grow in size by more than 100 units. Managers with the Axis Manor Apartments requested a zoning permit to triple in size from the city of Groves. 12 News reporter Rebecca Trejo explains why neighbors aren't offering a friendly welcome if that happens. I'm usually an upbeat and positive person, but I just don't see any good coming from this expansion. Jaina Rothenberger lives across the street from the Axis Manor Apartments, located on the corner of 25th Street and Maple Avenue in Groves. The thought of seeing more than 100 strangers is unsettling for her. I really see a lot of crime. I see a lot of terrible things going on. As I it's just my opinion. She's not the only one. More than 70 people in Groves attended a public hearing Monday at City Hall to oppose the apartment's expansion and voice current complaints about the complex. There were some problems and some issues that the residents around the apartment have been dealing with for years that were brought out into the open and they're being addressed. Even Grove City Manager D.E. Sosa agrees the complex needs renovation. It's not in real, real good shape. What concerns Rothenberger is the lack of management or security on site. That's far more terrifying. In fact, now I'm going to be on the high alert for that because you need security for a, an apartment complex of that magnitude. Grove's police received 47 calls for service over the past year at Axis Manor, which only has 48 units. Nearby complexes like Beverly Place have 124 units but only got 51 calls. Another complex nearby, like Amber Park, has 160 and received 113 calls. The best run complexes are the ones with the lowest number of calls. Complex management says after hearing neighbors complaints they'll add no parking signs to the streets and Grove City Council will vote next month to decide if Axis Manor gets a zoning permit. In Grove's Rebecca Trejo, 12 News. New tonight, lawyers representing